Hey all, Jason Rutherford here, and today we're going to look at how to provision a an application for a Mac through Intune. So the first thing you need to do is download off of GitHub the Intune App Util, which is an <coughs> external tool used for wrapping applications for Mac OS. Next, you need to have an application in a, a PKG file that's signed using a developer ID. Now what we're going to use is the OneDrive package, which probably not the best choice but you'll get the gist of what we're doing here just using the file type itself so once you've downloaded and extracted the Intune app util and you've downloaded a PKG file to wrap again you're going to want to certify that the PKG file is signed with the developer ID uh, first thing we need to do is run a chmod command to make the file executable to the Mac OS you have to run chmod uh, plus capital X Intune app util and against the Intune app util uh, file and then depending on your security permissions or your security settings for your Mac you might have to go enable that or allow it to run because it's not from a trusted uh, store or from a uh, the app store or from identified developer so you might have to run the uh, executable and then go ahead and select it to open <clears throat> so once you've got these settings down the next step is to wrap your application so there's, you can use dash H, I believe, on the Intune app util to get a help file uh, for a list of all of the different commands to run to package an application or to wrap the application. But as you can see, we're going to use Intune app util uh, dash C for the configuration for to point to the file that we're going to wrap, and then dash O for the output file. We're just going to save in the same directory. And then we get a OneDrive.pkg.IntuneMac. That is the file type extension you can upload into Intune for deployment. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to log into portal.azure.com. We're going to go to our Intune instance, select client apps, select apps, click add, and drop the app type down. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the line of business app. Mac OS preview for a couple of the applications listed there as well. Go ahead and browse and select your Intune Mac file and once you've done so then you can click OK. And then under app information you're going to need to give it some additional details here. So click app information, uh, give the application an appropriate name, a description, a publisher, and an icon. Once those things are complete, go ahead and click OK and click Add. Once you've added the application, the next step would be to have a group to, um, to assign the application to members of that group. So we're going to go to click Groups, we're going to click New Group, we're going to make it a security group, we're just going to give it a name. Again, you're going to want to put a lot more thought behind the group name that you're going to use in your production. For our purposes, we're just going to use prod-mac-apps, and then we're going to leave it as an assigned membership type as opposed to a dynamic, and we're going to add a member just to have somebody in there for testing purposes. We'll go back to client apps, click on apps, find your OneDrive for Mac that you created, and we're going to go ahead and create the assignment. Now the assignment type we're going to make available for enrolled devices and we will select the group that we just created. I'm going to save it. So the next step would be to launch your company portal application after you've given it some time, um, authenticate to it, and then you can click on the apps section of your company portal app and within a few minutes or 24 hours you'll have it. 